On April 5th, 2014, Jace and Stacy Plumalis were kidnapped and caged by Lisa Azur, Thomas Newbanks, and Jarrett Leedy of the Marion County Sheriff's Outfit. A lot of us are aware of that incident thanks to the fact that it was recorded and it was made public. The purpose of this video is twofold. First, to provide an update to that situation, and second, to encourage you, should you find yourself similarly situated, and by that I mean targeted by individuals who work within the so-called justice system uh, for actions that have no victim. If you find yourself targeted in such a way, I encourage you also to document and disseminate the situation to try to leverage the court of public opinion and to uh, engage in some much more effective damage control than working through the inside the system methods that uh, these criminals usually point us towards. So first let me just start with a quick timeline so we're all on the same page. Again, this incident happened on April 5th, 2014. On April 8th, an overview from Jace about his experience went live at coplock.org. On April 9th, Jace made public the video to his YouTube channel. Because you've got alcohol with minors. Say something, I'll hook you up and throw you in the back right now. Try me. What am I being detained for? You're being arrested. Why are they, why well, who's next? Who's next? Why are you arresting Who's next? This camera does not scare us. Who That's next fine. To go to jail? I'm, just, I'm not trying to cause any issues. Okay, Obviously, I'm concerned. Turn around. You're under arrest. What? I'm, I We're just said I'm not trying to cause any. The next day, Carlos Miller at Photography is Not a Crime posted about it, and soon other media outlets, uh, both those focused exclusively on police accountability and some local news outlets in the Central Florida area, picked up the story. Around this time, Jason Stacy connected with Christopher R. Dellingham II. Stacy had asked a question on a lawyer forum online about the fact that her cell phone had been stolen by these Marion County Sheriff's employees who kidnapped their persons, and Chris had responded with a, an answer. Jace, upon seeing that Chris was from Florida, reached out to him, and the next day Chris drove down, met with the couple, and agreed to represent them pro bono. About a month ago, I posted the video, Kidnappers and Accomplices Don Badges of the Marion County Sheriff's Outfit. Due to the influx of calls and messages received, not just to their non-emergency phone number, but to their Facebook page and all their other outlets, from people who were appalled to see the level of service being provided by Azure, Newbanks, and Leedy, the charges that were levied at Jace and Stacy uh, were thrown out on May 28th. They were null processed by an unknown state's attorney's office employee. On June 10th, 2014, Dellingham filed federal civil rights lawsuits on behalf of Jace and Stacy, arguing 1st, 4th, 5th, 8th, and 14th Amendment applicability. On an email from Mr. Dellingham to the person he was sending the civil suits to, he noted, Law enforcement cannot do whatever they want whenever they want to do it. Also, that far too many Floridians have had to endure the trauma and indignity of law enforcement officers arresting them for doing nothing more than what our Constitution says they can. Allow me to take just a moment to read just a bit of the text on those civil suits filed by Dellingham on behalf of Jason Stacy. Upon arrival, Azure, Newbanks, and Leedy unlawfully stopped vehicles and shouted at partygoers, profanely daring partygoers to come out to the road. Dellingham notes that Jace was 20 feet away on private property and no threat to the police employees. It's also noted that Azure made her personal Facebook picture the mugshot of Jason Stacy taken at the Marion County Jail. Is that really indicative of, you know, someone who's professional or someone that you'd hire to keep your community safe? Upon Jace's arrival to the jail, he was brought into another room and told by an as-of-yet unidentified Marion County Sheriff's employee, there aren't any cameras in here and I'll break your fucking arm, as he twisted Jace's arm uncomfortably. Let's summarize what's gone down in the past three months. First, Stacy and Jace were wronged by Azure, Newbanks, and Leedy of the Marion County Sheriff's Outfit. That those wrongs were further compounded by other Marion County employees, both at the jail and who were trying to run damage control for them and stand by their colleagues. Fortunately, Jason Stacy, instead of remaining silent and thinking that they can get justice through the internal system, chose instead to make public the video that had been captured. Thanks to that, thanks to you and, and hundreds of other people weighing in on their behalf, the charges, the frivolous charges that have been levied at them in legal land were tossed out. And also a lawyer, Chris Dellingham, stepped up, came to their aid, and 
uh, represent them in these suits. Um, but again, the main takeaway for this video is not just to to provide an update and and uh, give you props for coming to the aid and Jason Stacy. It's also to encourage you to uh, be more confident in your own actions. To know if you've done nothing wrong, that you shouldn't play the games, you shouldn't take plea deals, and you shouldn't jump through these hoops. Instead, speak the truth, get it out there, try to document and disseminate, film all the police interactions, whether they're your, your own or others you witness, because that objective documentation can and, and very oftentimes does does prove critical. I haven't yet heard that Azor, Newbanks, or Leedy have apologized to Jace or Stacy for their aggressive actions, but their colleague, Don Maines, apparently running damage control, has acknowledged some inappropriate comments and claims that they have dealt with this internally through additional training and the case is then closed. That's the kind of service you get from a coercive monopoly which points to the power that we can have together when we support each other when incidents like this happen. And last but not least, I want to put on your radar a Know Your Rights event being held in Marion County by Jace, his colleague James of Marion County Cop Block, and many other people that are involved, especially if you're within driving distance of Central Florida. I encourage you to make it down there, August 9th, 2014. Be on the lookout for more details. They'll be shared through Cop Block, and definitely they'll be shared through Marion County Cop Block. Until next time, much love.